So can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Hi. Um, well, thank you, Stephen and Aging 2.0, and to the Hallmark and Brookdale for having us here. We're really excited to be here. I'm Abby, and this is Adam, and we are the founders of Everplans.com. The great thing about the internet is that no matter who you are, what your interests are, what your passions are, there are websites for you. Whether you need to learn how to take care of your bearded dragon, or you're in a fan club of people who like to make cheese in their basement, we've got you covered. Um, and if you're lucky enough to be going through one of the momentous, happy life transitions like getting married or having a baby or putting your kid into college, there are a huge number of very sophisticated sites and they're endless. I was getting married three years ago and having a baby soon after and I use every single one of the sites on this slide multiple times a day. It dawned on me that, wow, there's so many sites for people out there who are dealing with the very happy life transitions. What is there for people who are dealing with unhappy life transitions like death and dying? And so I mentioned the idea to Adam and said, Adam, there's, you know, what's, what's out there? And he said, well, there's got to be something. And we started to look and we found nothing. And so that's why we built Everplants. Everplants.com is the first consumer site helping people deal end-to-end -end with all of the complicated decisions surrounding death, dying, and even aging. Everplans started as a content site. We wrote 500 original articles on everything from how to write a will to what to wear to a Muslim funeral. And we put it up and we started to actually get um, traffic from all over the world. There are people coming to the site today from over 130 countries. And two years into building a site for people who might die someday, my family experienced a personal tragedy. My brother, who was 52, died suddenly, and I was personally faced with a lot of the issues that we had been dedicated to for the past two years. My family was forced to make a lot of decisions, complicated decisions, stressful decisions, expensive decisions, at a time where we should not have been having to make any decisions. And we realized that content wasn't enough. We actually needed to create a site where people could get a plan in place. And so that's what we're building today. Everplants is a platform. Adam's going to walk you through it. No one's seen this before, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. And so yeah, this is a quick glimpse of just some rough slides of what will be coming out in a few weeks when we begin our beta test. You're the first ones to see it. And, and the site will be very focused on helping people to get a plan in place. We'll still have all of the content and the articles and the checklists and the guides and everything that we've always had for people that are looking to learn something. But more and more, we want to help people to build their personal plan, their ever plan. And it'll start out by finding out a little bit about the person. We want to know why you came here to get a plan. And then we'll begin to walk you through an assessment where we learn about who you are, about your family, about what sort of things are important to you, what sort of things that you've already done in terms of planning. And then based on all of that, we can develop a personalized plan for you and a plan of attack for what you need to do next. And so uh, a complete ever plan might have 23 pieces in it, life insurance, wills, funeral plans, advanced directives. It, it's, it's a lot of stuff and it can be very overwhelming. And so the idea is based on your assessment, we can surface the two or three things that are most relevant to you to get started on right away. And so for instance, if you're a new parent, uh, we might steer you towards life insurance and getting a will in place. Whereas if you're somebody who came to Everplans because they're entering an assisted living <coughs> facility, it might be a better idea to, to start getting your advanced directives squared away. And so that's a quick look at the, the product. Uh, we don't have a ton of time tonight. But so where, where are our customers coming from? Who is this for? And so as Abby mentioned, we're, we're, we're already beginning to see a lot of people coming to our plans just through word of mouth, through Google, because of articles about us. Um, but there's, there's another channel that's, that's turning out to be very interesting. Uh, we're beginning to work with companies and organizations who find it valuable to help their patients and customers get a plan in place. 
So for instance, we've, we've begun working with, with, with a hospital and a couple of uh, long-term care facilities and nursing facilities who are very focused on helping their patients begin to do advanced directives so they can specify the type of care they do and do not want towards the end of their life. And so uh, if anybody out here is interested potentially in working with Everplans, uh, we would love to, to talk to you. And if you want access to our beta, just come find us later or email us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, actually, time as well, wasn't it? Awesome presentation. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, I've got a ton of questions, but uh, you know, the floor. I mean, one of the things I wanted to hear, we didn't have time, but your backgrounds in terms of, Adam, I mean, it's a, you've been in the tech world, world before. It's not your sort of first rodeo, but it's, it's a tough job to get a lot of people using a site like this. So how is your background, do you think, going to be useful? Well, so the last site that I began is something called Photolog, uh, and it's the biggest site a lot of you never heard of because it got humongous in South America and Europe. But uh, it was a, it was a, it was sort of like Twitter for photos, although we did it in 2002 before MySpace and Facebook and Twitter. But we got about 30 million members um, who came to the site four and a half billion times a month, um, and we never spent a penny on marketing. It was the 15th biggest website in the world. Um, and so we know quite a bit actually about um, how virality works and we're hoping that we can apply some of the things that we learned doing doing that and some of the things that Abby has done to, to an area that really feels underserved. And I'm going to take just 30 seconds because I forgot to talk about one big part of the Everplan which is we, we help you uh, get your plan in place but, but Everplans also provides a secure vault where you can store all the output so it can be properly shared with the right people at the right time if something happens to you. Whether it's your family or members of your health care team, you can designate who gets the things in your ever plans and, and how. Yeah. yeah. Um, these assessments, do they result in what legal documents you should be filling out and do they fill them out online? Yes. So based on what you tell us, you'll tell, for example, if you say, I have not created a will, and we say, well, you need to create a will, and we'll give you resources where you can find um, articles on how to create a will. We also have a partnership with an online legal forms company if you want to create one online, or we'll tell you maybe, you know, other online resources that are, are valuable as well. Yeah, right. So. Um, this is a subject that a lot of people don't want to even deal with. What is your marketing strategy? Come to all of Aging 2.0 events. <laughs> <laughs> one person at a time. And get them one person at a time. Um, you know, we know it's our biggest challenge. No one wants to talk about this. Um, and, and we want to talk about it. But we've, um, it, I'm trying to figure out how to answer this in two seconds. But, um, we're going to partner with organizations who are supporting people who are dealing with needing to get a plan in place at very critical times. Um, and so we've identified a few groups of people who actually need to get a plan in place. And it's not just the aging population. New parents need to get a plan in place. Um, so we're going to be working with those organizations who support those people. Okay. John, last question. Yeah, huge, huge. Forget these people, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, in fact, we've had conversations the last two days about this. We actually met last night with some of the chief gerontologists from Cornell, which is Cornell Presbyterian downtown. Big organization now. Sounds good, isn't it? Um, and they've got the same problem. Hospitals are having the same problem. People are not prepared. It's our problem when people are moving into our communities. It's like, oh my God, mum's just had a big problem and we've got to get sorted her in somewhere right away and they don't know anything. And we're dealing with that and, and how many people make the wrong decision because they're going to the first person they see that they hope has the answer. Huge. I, fabulous plan. Please come see me tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, no, sir. and it's just sort of my final comment. I think there's been there's been a couple of other companies that have tried to do something like this, and I, I guess I just sort of really had a thought of is there a specific thing that you would like 
really want to say that's why we're different. And also the question is, is there something about a life stage, for example, the marriage or the, the kids that you're going to be more aggressively looking at? Because I'm kind of wondering why other companies who've tried to do this haven't really taken off. So I think one, one it's a very complex question, but, but part of the answer is a lot of them have built a tool where you can store the output of your planning. But not many of them have created an experience that helps you figure out what's right for you, teaches what you, what you need to know, helps guide you through sticky decisions, and then helps you actually get the pieces in place. And so we're not just a storage vault. We're, we're, it, it's, it's end to end. And it's very contextual. It's personalized for each person. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thanks very much. Thank you.